the Biden administration, meanwhile, is promising it will put Haitians camped in Del Rio, Texas, on deportation flights. That does not seem to be happening, however. A new report finds thousands of migrants are actually being released into the United States. This is Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas was grilled by Senate lawmakers yesterday. Watch. How many people have been returned? Disgraceful. How many people are being detained? How many people have been dispersed to all points around America? Uh, Senator, I would be pleased to provide you with that data. I want them now. Uh, Why don't you have that information now? Uh, Senator, I do not have that data. Why not? Me. Why don't you have that basic information? Disgraceful. Why don't you have that basic information? Well, joining me right now to talk more about that is New York Congressman. He is the ranking member on the Homeland Security Committee, member John Katko. Congressman, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks very much for being here. I know you'll get your chance to question Mayorkas later today. I want to ask you what you are planning to ask him. But first, let's address what we just heard from Senator Ron Johnson. Should Secretary Mayorkas have that information? At the ready. Oh my gosh! Of, of course, he should have that information at his ready. I mean, he he is overseeing uh, this debacle on the southwest border, and to not know the basic st statistics, which we know they have, uh, it, to me is is. Uh, very, very troubling, but it's symptomatic, Maria, of a larger problem, and that is they don't really have a coherent policy at the border. Whether you agree or not uh, with what the president did on January 20th and rolling back everything President Trump did to secure the border, that alone, they don't have a plan, and it's quite apparent. And they're, they're t what they're telling the public just isn't true. For example, they're saying that the border is closed. He testified about that yesterday. That's absolutely not true. He's telling us that Haitians are being deported. That's not true, we find out now. Some are, some aren't. Why, we don't know. The lack of consistency is feeding the frenzy uh, to come across the border in the southwest border. It's making our country a lot less safe, no doubt about it. Well, I mean, I don't understand how this administration can get away with this, constantly spewing out things that are not true. I mean, these are things that you can actually confirm and you can, you know right away that that's not what's happening. And this, and this addresses from the border to Afghanistan and a missed, you know, drone strike which killed children to, you know, voter laws in 18 states being Jim Crow. I mean, it's all lies. How is it possible that the, the leader of the free world gets away with this? Well, it's, it's incredible that he does, and I don't really have uh, a, a good answer for that. But I do tell you, I will tell you this much. With respect to the border, it's stunning what's going on. And now we get reports from a briefing I had yesterday that 40 to 60,000 more Haitians are massing in uh, Central America and are on their way in a caravan up to the southwest border. That's in addition to the 15,000 or so that are there as of this morning. And but th this crisis is getting worse and worse. And, you know, border communities are suffering. Uh, but, you know, people all across the United States are suffering. People don't realize we have record numbers of fentanyl coming across the border this year. And the fentanyl is killing our kids and all over the, you know, the United States and in my community. So to me, uh, this is a crisis that it's our job to, to do the oversight on. And that's what we're going to do today in this hearing. I think a lot of us are very upset at the lack of coherency and the lack of candid, candor with respect to what's going on. And we're going to hold them accountable for that today. That's for sure. And, and, and what you said, the lack of a plan. I mean, you're talking about 40 to 60,000 additional people from Colombia and Panama and Costa Rica on their way here. What else have you learned about this? Who's paying for their, their track over? Well, Maria, first of all, uh, uh, that's just the Haitian uh, descent people. You know, there's tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands more, that have come to the border in the last few months. In fact, the last since January 20th, there's been over one and a half million people that have crossed the border. One and a half million, not just from Haiti, from all over the world. And, and we also know that no yeah. one suspected terrorists are being apprehended in record numbers, and they refuse to even let us talk about that publicly, just the numbers, because they know they're on unprecedented levels. You know, combine that with what happened in Afghanistan, and, and terrorism is back alive and well in, in Afghanistan. Uh, that does not bode well for the future security of the United States.
Well, we are in really dangerous times right now, and that's why this hearing is so important with Mayorkas testifying on the terrorism threats that the U.S. faces 20 years after 9-11, Congress, Congressman. So walk us through what you think are the most important issues that you want to hit on uh, with the secretary today. And are we less safe today post everything you just uh, discussed? There's no question we're less safe today, but don't forget we have FBI uh, Director Ray there as well today, and I, I think he'll be give you. He's a straight shooter, and he'll be a straight shooter about the terrorist threat, which is absolutely on the rise uh, nationwide because of what's happened in Afghanistan. And then you've got you've got that, and then you've got the southwest border, which we didn't have 20 years ago, Maria, uh, being wide open. And we know, like I just said, a very large number of known and suspected terrorists have come across the border this year that we've apprehended, not the ones that got away. The ones we've apprehended and they've refused to let us talk about the numbers publicly so I there's a lot to talk about there's no no question in my mind that uh, you know the board they don't have a cohesive plan uh, yeah. they are releasing people in the United States and they're they are uh, when they say the border is closed that's just a flat-out lie that's not closed and they know it and for them to say yeah. that publicly is ridiculous and we're gonna expose that today it's it's I mean, it's, it's on our screens every day. They tried to stomp <laughs> out Fox from covering it with those crazy rules about FAA drones, and they rescinded it <laughs> because there was so much pushback. Real quick before you go, Congressman, why do you think this administration will not be honest that there's a crisis at the border? What's, what's the motivation for not just addressing there's a crisis at the border? All these people want to come to America. We need rules in place. They want people to come here illegally. They want people to come across the border, okay. and they know they're not going to be held accountable in the media. So why would they have to be held? Why, why would they tell you what's obvious to everyone else? They, they don't. They're not being held accountable. So kudos for you and others that cover this because we need to get the word out to people. This is a bad scene, and it affects every single person in the United States. Every state, every city yeah. is a border a state and city right now. Of course. Well, one uh, congressman earlier told us they're going to some, many are going to South Florida and others are going to other cities across the country. Congressman, we'll be watching the testimony. Thank you. Disgraceful. Disgraceful. Disgraceful.